everyone welcome back to my channel so we're going to jump into these messages and see what the universe wants you to know now um i just wanted to warn you guys these messages could be a bit triggering because what we're trying to find out is if your person walked away from you if they ghosted you we're trying to find out why they ghosted you what's going on with them um what's behind you know their energy and what's to come for you so we're going to see what the universe wants you to know. I'm just going to sage you guys' cards really quickly, and then we're going to jump right in. Okay. So we're going to be pulling from three different decks today. So we're going to see what messages comes out for you. What messages do you have for the collectives? What do they need to know? What is going on with their person? If their person ghosted them, why did this happen? If you're still talking to your person, but it's a lot of inconsistency, what is going on with them? What does the collective need to know? All right. So we have differences. I didn't think you needed an explanation since we didn't establish anything serious. I'm sorry if I hurt you. I figured I was saving you from me. I was not in a good place. So this could be someone who's going through something. And guys, only take what resonates with you um, and leave the rest. Okay? Because um, everything that comes out here is not going to be your message, of course. But I hope you guys can pick up on something that will help you. So it just seems like for some of you, your person knew that they weren't in a good place and they didn't want to take that energy out on you. So this person could have started pulling away from you. They didn't want you to know what was going on with them. And um, also, they felt like things weren't that serious between the two of you or you guys hadn't established. Um, you didn't put a title on things. So this person possibly was looking at it as friends with benefits and you may have been wanting something more but just didn't want to speak up on it just yet. You know, maybe you wanted to see what this person was feeling and thinking and you were waiting for them to speak up on the situation of, of where things were going and what their intentions were. I'm sort of channeling here that some of you were like, I just came out of a relationship where I put all of this work into this person and I said, when I got into another connection, I wasn't going to do that. So you were hanging out. You were just hanging back, just letting them take control. And I feel like because you let this person take control, you may have wound up getting hurt in the process um, because this person didn't want anything serious. But no one ever just, you know, neither one of you discussed it with each other. All right. So what messages do you have for the collectors? What do they need to know about this situation? Know why my camera looks like it's cricket i'm sorry guys i just gotta move this really quickly something just looks cricket i don't know why maybe it's just the way i'm looking at everything all right all right so this wanted to come out we have unavailable you gave me no other choice but to ghost you i said what i needed to say but you weren't accepting it and we also have distraction i got distracted by someone else i'm dating i'm sorry and then we have fear. I have to sacrifice too much. I'm not ready to let go of what I'll lose to be with you. Don't take it personal. So I feel like um, some of you were dating someone that was either married or they were living with someone. They're in another relationship and they didn't expect to fall in love with you. They didn't know how to deal with the situation once they did fall in love with you because I feel like you started requiring more from this person as you should. Right. And then I felt like they could not meet your needs or expectations spare what messages do you have for the collective what do they need to know about their person if their person goes to them why what happened what are they up to what is this person feeling and thinking about the collective what can they expect all right so we have hurt you said some things that really hurt me and unavailable i just want to live an adventurous life and focus on being independent my freedom is more important than finding love. And then we have my past experiences made it difficult for me to open up my heart to someone again. I feared you were too good to be true. 
We also have unrequited. I just wanted to be friends with you, but I felt you wanted more. Yeah, that's what I just said. I feel like some of you didn't establish what you actually wanted with this person. You know, I always tell people when you meet someone, as we get older, because when you're young, when I was young, I wasn't establishing nothing. <laughs> it was like, whatever, like we doing whatever. We going out, we having fun, you know, and we're not establishing anything, but, you know, in the beginning. But once you start liking someone, that's when lines get crossed when you don't establish things. So as you get older, I tell people all the time, you know, no, like straight out the gate. Like, what are you looking for? You know, are we just dating? We're just being friends. That way it will eliminate any confusion, any doubt down the line. That's how I see it, you know. And that's just my personal opinion as you get older. Because like I said, when we're younger, we don't be thinking about that shit. <laughs> we're like, we're not establishing nothing. Like, I'm too young to be establishing anything with you. All right. So um, we have, I just want to live an adventurous life and focus on being independent. My freedom is more important than finding love. So someone just want to be out here doing them, basically. All right. Spirit messages do you have for the... Collective. What messages do you have for the collective? I knew I had to increase my effort to be with you. I wasn't able to do that. This person was lazy or either they looked at you and they saw like you were winning. You know what I mean? You were making shit happen for yourself. They saw that and they felt like, oh, I can't compete with this. We also have circumstances. I had a lot. I had a lot of responsibilities. I didn't mean to ghost you. I'm afraid to contact you now and be rejected. So someone is thinking about you. I feel like this person may be looking at it like I'm not on her level or I'm not on his level. They're gonna wind up leaving me anyway. So this is someone who was insecure, very insecure about the situation. They sized you up, collective. You be, they yeah, you be like they sized you up because you the stuff. <laughs> be like you sized me up, you saw what I was, you saw what I was about, and you felt like you couldn't handle it. Okay, cool. Like you could have said something, right? You didn't have to ghost me. But like, what do you say? Comment down below, right? If you if a person is dealing with you and they feel like, oh, this person is just like, I'm not going to be able to afford them. They drive a luxury car. They have a very nice home or apartment. They have a, a great job. You know, every time I see them, they look good. They're, they dress really like everything they wear is really expensive or whatever it is. However it is with your situation, comment down below of how you walk off from somebody when you know you can't afford them, you're not on their level. Like, what do you say? What can you possibly say to this person? Because I want to know, because I'm like, in a way, like, I'm not taking the, like, taking sides here. But I'm just saying, like, what do you say? What do you say this, to that? Do you just be like, um, I know I can't afford you, so I'm out of here? Because then the person is going to be like, wait, what? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about affording me? Like, I haven't asked you for anything. So I don't know. So yeah, comment down below and let me know what can a person possibly say when they come upon that situation and they know they can't afford that person or they know they just don't have it and they know that what type time the person is going to be on. You know, it's like they, they're okay. So their idea of a date is like somewhere really, really expensive, but that person idea of a date may be like the movies. And they may be like, no, I don't go to the movies. Like, I can hang out at the movies with my friends or my my kids or something like that. Like, I don't know. But yeah, comment down below and let me know. So we have circumstances. There was a series of unfortunate events in my life. I had to disconnect from the world. It wasn't just you. We also have narcissism. I wasn't getting what I wanted from you, so I left to get it somewhere else. All right, so someone felt like... Either you weren't satisfying them, they weren't satisfying you. Someone has some drama going on here. There was a series of unfortunate events in my life. I had to disconnect from the world. It wasn't just you. So this person cut everyone off. This sounds like someone who was going through some money problems. They had some debt. Maybe someone died. Someone maybe passed away. Or like life was just life for them. Like everything was falling apart around them. And they couldn't find any reasons to be happy. So it looks like someone was like, well, I don't want to come towards you. And I'm always in a bad mood. 
you know, always have an attitude. I'm sort of picking up that some of you are dealing with someone that every time they come around you, they're mad about something. And you're like, what's wrong? Like, I know I haven't done anything to you. Or why every time I talk to you, you seem down or you just seem like you don't want to be bothered. You seem like you may be calling me and it's like a charity text or like a charity, a charity call check in or something like, you know what I mean? They're not in the mood to talk. And you're like, so why did you call me then? Like, I'm picking up that type of energy. All right. Let's jump into this other deck and then we're going to get some tarot. What messages do you have for the collectives? What do they need to know? What's coming towards them? What does this person want them to know? We have haunted. They can't get you out of their head. Your memory haunts them. This is what they want you to know. We have after no contact. They are wondering if they have lost you for good. They expected you to call by now. So someone thought that you were going to chase them. How dare them? <laughs> You're like, why would I chase you? Like, get your life together. Like, I'm not chasing nobody. I don't even chase my damn liquor. <laughs> You're like, I'm not chasing you. All right, so we have rebirth. Going through a dark night of the soul, the space between who they were and who they will become. So someone is going through some changes. They could have had an awakening, realizing they lost out. Or they should have really stayed in this relationship with you and tried to make things work. We have sexual desires. They're sexually charged. Be careful not to rush towards intimacy. Make them work for it. Some of you are dealing with someone and the universe is saying this person may only come over when they want to have sex. Or they may call you like one in the morning and be like, what you doing? You be like, sleep. So let me hang up on you right now because I didn't even mean to answer that. I didn't even mean to pick up this phone and answer it. <laughs> sleep you know what i'm saying i just feel like for some of you you're like mm -mm. like you keep calling me when it's like one and two in the morning like why you don't call me at 6 p.m why you don't call me at like eight yeah well the universe is saying you know if this is not what you want if this is what you want then it's cool right it's a go but if it's not what you want then the universe is saying make sure that you just like look at it you know lean over on your nightstand look at it and be like they tripping i'm not answering that they must have lost their mind i don't care if you are up watching tv but like you're not gonna call me no two in the morning all right so we have driven by jealousy the thought of you being with someone else is driving them crazy so this is someone who's thinking about you may hear from some of you may hear from this person with the next full moon wait a minute hold up let's find out when the next full moon is alexa when is the next full moon the next full moon will be next saturday october 28th at 4 24 p.m okay Alexa, thank you. Anytime. Literally. She, she like, bye, girl. <laughs> <laughs> anyway so we have driven by jealousy the thought of you being with someone else drives them crazy so you may hear from this person in the next um full moon for some of you and that's on the 28th i believe she just said all right so let's see let's get a couple more Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective what do they need to know what can they expect oh, that card fell right in the front give me one minute Okay, we have fear of rejection and divine intervention. They fear your rejection. Is it too late? Are you over me? Will you forgive me? And then we have divine intervention will help bring you two together. So you can expect for some of you to come back together with this person if you still want them. If not, you may be like, no, thank you. You know, I'm good on my own. You walking away from me and, and being away from me for so long taught me how to be without you or taught me how to get along without you. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's get, well, we have, let's get two. I was going to say two more. We can get two more and then we can jump into the tarot. They want to apologize for hurting you and hoping to start over if you can forgive them and um, from a distance, they feel safer watching you from a distance, checking your social media. Okay, so let's check into the tarot and let's see what else the universe wants you to know. What messages do you have for the collective? What do they need to know? We have the strength card reversed. We have the star card reversed. Okay, so I see a combination of an Aquarius and a Leo here. 
and I feel like both of you are wondering if this is going to work. We have the Page of Wands and the Eight of Swords. This person is going to reach out to you. There is good news. If you're an Aquarius dealing with a Leo and you've lost faith in this situation and you're just like, I don't know if I should leave or stay. I don't know what to do with the Eight of Swords. You feel restricted. You sort of feel kind of trapped in this situation. You're like, okay, if I walk away from this, am I doing the right thing? What if they decide that they want to change and be with me? You know, then what? But we have the Page of Wands here. So I feel like there is definitely a message that's coming in. With this connection, with the page showing up here, um, I just feel like one of you may be younger than the other. So you may feel like this person is immature and that they may not be ready for what you want. And maybe that's why there's so many delays in this connection. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectives? Yeah, there's not an, enough equal give and take here. You just feel like it's you giving to the situation. You're tired of being hurt with the Three of Swords or there's some sort of third party situation. So some of you may be like, I just want to walk away. I'm out of here. Like, I don't want to deal with it anymore. Somebody who left you out in the cold, though, is still hanging on to you. They know that they did you wrong. And here's the communication that's coming in with the Knight of Swords. We have air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Definitely a Libra energy here with the Justice card reversed. Some of you may be dealing with a Libra or were dealing with a Libra that's still hanging on to you. Um, watch getting into an argument with this person because they may come in really aggressive. Some of you are a fire sign dealing with a Libra. And every time you talk to this person here lately, it's an argument. It's like you guys can't get on the same page. It's stressing you out, stressing this person out. Some of you are throwing yourself into work because you don't want to think about things because it's too stressful with the Ten of Wands. Some of you, let me just say this. Some of you are working on something, though, that's going to bring in a lot of abundance and a lot of prosperity. So the universe is saying, keep going. I heard keep going, whatever it is you're working on. And when this person come back in to talk to you, don't let them distract you. Be like, I'm busy. I was looking at the sun shine. What do you want? <laughs> no, I'm just being petty. Be like, I was just sitting here looking out the window. I'm busy though. Like, what do you want? All right, so we have the Ten of Cups. Somebody may come back in saying they want a family with you or they want their family back, especially if you guys were married or living with each other. Or they may tell you that they're happy, like they can't be happy without you. Yeah, we have the lovers here, Gemini energy. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini or this is your twin flame. And this person is realizing like their happiness lies with you, no matter what it is that you guys are going through. Even if this person pulls away from you, they may be realizing something about the situation. The full card. So there's a new beginning here. Some of you could be an Aries dealing with the Gemini. That's feeling the Ten of Cups right now. This person may be making a U-turn. Coming back towards you. Also with this full card, I'm also picking up a new beginning. If you're not a Gemini dealing with an Aries, there could be a new beginning coming towards you where you will meet an Aries or meet a Gemini. So keep that in mind. And this could be a, um, a really happy situation, something you deserve. Maybe you've manifested this situation. What messages do you have for the collectives? Yep. The Knight of Cups. Also, oh, so I just see somebody here just possibly being in their feelings. And if it hasn't happened yet, yep. The Knight of Swords. I'm sorry, not the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Swords with the Knight of Cups. Somebody is missing you. They're realizing that um, yeah, you are a missed opportunity for them, or they're thinking about like if they keep going in this direction that they're going and they lose you for good, what is this going to mean for them? in the future will they be regretting something here but this person's yep look at the five of cups i'm telling you somebody is like oh my god i gotta change 
I got to change to be with the collective because if I lose out on this relationship or this situation, it's not going to be good for me. Because somebody feels like once you really decide to walk away from them, they're going to wind up regretting this with the Five of Cups. So I do see a new beginning. Now, for some of you, this is a new beginning with someone else. And then for others, I feel like it's a new beginning with the person that you were with. You guys are going to try to start over. And you may not even see it coming because some of you may be like, no, I haven't heard from this person in years. Or I haven't seen them in months. The universe has a very unique way of turning things around. Trust me. I know personally. <laughs> I like it was a personal thing. I stopped dealing with someone for so long. And then all of a sudden, this person was like chasing me. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, leave me alone. All right. So we have the world card here. So some of you walked away or you're like ending things or you ended this. You may have ended this with this person. And this is why they're in this nine of swords energy of not being able to sleep possibly. Or they're just never, they didn't think that you were going to end things or you were going to be able to ignore them and stop talking to them. Could be a um, Scorpio. And this card went to flip in the circle. We have the moon. So there's something here that's being hidden or something that you don't see. Yeah, with the page of cups. I see love coming back towards you. Could be with the water sign, possibly a Pisces. Um, but the Page of Cups is here, so it could be a younger Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. We have Pisces here twice, so some of you are definitely dealing with the Pisces that's going to want a new beginning with you because the Six of Cups is here. So they're thinking about the past, you know, what used to be between the two of you. They may be thinking about how long they've known you, That y'all have been through so much. It doesn't make sense to let it all go. I'm sorry that the cards are like doing all of this, but they're sliding out of my hands. But when I see the seven of wands, I just feel like you're going to be really defensive towards this person. Um, They may trigger you in some sort of way, just even reaching out to you. Where you may re start remembering like all these things that this person did to you. Or you may be thinking about something that they did and you're like, how could I possibly forgive you for this? It's not possible. You could even be thinking of ways that you could forgive this person. And then you keep thinking and you're like, it's just not possible that I could ever forgive what they've done. It's it's unforgivable. I don't feel like they're going to understand that. And you know how that goes. Like when it's not something that happened to them, then of course they don't see it as unforgivable, right? Because they didn't experience any type of hurt behind this. You did. We have the three of pentacles reversed. Some of you work with this person and you like hate to go to work because you don't want to see them. Also with the three of pentacles reversed, some of you feel like it's just no coming back from this. Like this will never work. Now, this person may have been being sneaky. We have the hermit here. Some of you could have been dealing with the Virgo that was being sneaky. That may be trying to reach out to you soon with the eight of wands. This is messages coming in fast here. But I see conflict behind it. Yep. Good. Okay, so I'm seeing the king of swords. So some of you could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius dealing with the Virgo that's thinking about you and after this person did some sneaky shit to you whatever they did you're still conflicted by the situation because right behind the five of wands is the nine of wands it's like no i need to guard myself from this situation because i don't trust this person at all and if they come towards me we are definitely gonna argue because i'm not over what you did you still need to explain yourself i need answers I feel like some of you are like, screw closure. Like, I need to know why you did what you did. I was a really good person to you. Like, look how this person is looking at the King of Swords. I feel like this could be your energy here. And you're looking at this Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Like, you hurt me. You caused a tower situation for no reason. I didn't do anything to you. I didn't deserve it. This may even been someone that kept you waiting. And then they thought about the situation. Yeah, they were... This is somebody who was already 
looking at you or spying on you. We have the King of Wands, could be the fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. That's now thinking about how they hurt you or how they kept running in and out of your life for no reason. Just playing games with you. They made you wait. Well, not made you, but you know. They kept you waiting, rather. Turned their back on you a lot. And now this person is thinking about the situation. Wanting to invest more. Not wanting to just let it go. And it could just be simply because you decide to walk away from this. Because of the Ten of Swords, you were like, okay, that's it. Enough betraying me and stabbing me in the back and acting like you could care less once I tell you how much I'm hurting. Because I feel like some of you have expressed yourself, possibly to the King of Pentacles reverse, a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn who don't have their life in order at all. Their finances are messed up. This person may not have a place to stay. They may move a lot. This may be someone who lost their job or they're still trying to find their way in life. And you're trying to be with them despite all of that. And I feel like they just kept betraying you and stabbing you in the back no matter how much you help them. For some of you, this may be someone you lent money to. You may have lent money to this um, King of Pentacles and they just did not appreciate it. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.